Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm brought in part by Trigger Happy John, and we just did a video over on his channel, so pin, comment, description, all that garbage, go click on it, go watch this video, subscribe to him and all that. How are you doing, John? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Darth? Doing pretty good. Hanging in there. This is our uh, okay. our second video together for the day, so we are already in the flow. We've got the, the blood flowing. It's going to be an easy one. And speaking of That's easy... Right. Uh, I did this video where I was ranting about Arena basically being very unfun. And I got about a million comments that lined up with exactly what I've seen in the rank leaderboard, which is basically the Lightwing Zach is kind of a, a little bit of a problem. Oh, for sure. He's uh, he, he's a little busted right now. Like, I got to tell you, I'm not a massive Arena guy, but I, I just did a recent push, right? Like, I got Gangello. I needed that. I needed that Arcana. Okay. I was going to get it before reset. Okay. And as you as you're pushing up in this arena, Lightwing Zach has just come out of nowhere, like total <laughs> left field and just smacking us right back down, taking us right out. Like, I mean, I might as well just went back to gold or something like it was just insane. So I've been not doing arena at all. OK, like I've been okay. sitting in like literally the lowest ranks possible because I just let decay. And then I see all these comments mm -hmm. about Lightwing Zach. So I look in the rank and sure enough, there's about a million Lightwing Zachs. So then I start thinking, Wait a minute, this solves the one of the reasons I absolutely hate the arena, which is the which is the dark ogre, right? He goes, yeah. he damages you, has a chance to stun with the rebel set. Well, if he damages you, now he goes, he count you get the bonus turn from Lightwing Zack, and then you just go and you just one shot the ogre with your 50% bonus elemental damage. It's actually like kind of a refreshing counter, I'm not gonna lie. It's a feels good man moment. It, it is. It is. It's 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 broken, man. It's totally broken. And it's funny you mentioned that. So I just got uh, Corruptor Rock and uh, I've been playing with Imogen and the Rebel set because now I have Gangelo. I can get yes. that Rebel set. Yes, yeah, same. And um, so I'm like, oh, yeah, I get to do the broken meta. And then exactly what you're saying, Lightwing Zack comes out of left wing and just, you know, smacks us I'm like, oh, well, crap. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's 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 insane. I, I'm interested as to if this is like going to be like what what counters they're going to give us for Lightwing Zachary at this point because I feel like that slight change to his kit, I, I dare say he may be slightly o OP. What 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 are you thinking? Well, okay, so I, I think he is in a very uh, a big spot of of kind of countering everything way too perfect because he counters the dark ogre perfect who's the pvp god but then he also counters yep. brand in like a disgusting coin flip infinite turn oh, way dude where like he'll attack yeah. so brand counters him because he attacks someone so he goes again because he won the coin flip he uh, does the other bonus turn so brand attacks him again and you literally can get infinite turns like, just get locked out. He can just go over and over and over and over again, which is more of a problem, even more so on the reason I don't like Arena, which is the defense mm -hmm. part of it, where you're getting zapped by the lightning, so then you're attacking into him and wasting even more turns, God forbid. So I want to show people here, because I didn't show the rank yet. If you look at the top here, one, okay, top five, there's one, two Lightwing Zachary's at the moment, then we have the Dark Ogre we were talking about earlier. Interesting enough, I see a Lydia yeah. in here. What do you think about Lydia? Uh, dude, I mean... I don't know if you remember this or not, but you actually rated into me the night I got Lydia and it was it was hilarious because I, I, I literally like I thought you flipped a switch because I, I pulled two of her back to back. Oh, that was like me uh, with it was awesome. Yeah. Um, and I was playing with her and I was I was having a lot of fun with her. And then it quickly dawned on me that the dodge percentage is just it's so RNG, but it's perfect for us to play gotcha games. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we play gotcha games. We're always rolling the dice. So it's like, oh, well, Bring in Lydia, like, we're already rolling the dice. Might as well just keep going with that theme, you know what I mean? The problem with her is she's the most unfun both to use and play against. Because when you roll a oh, bad yeah. into her and she gets the dodge and then she ignores all your defense and you basically get one shot, you're like, what the actual is that? Like, that's not fair. Yeah. And then when you're playing her, you never get the dodge and you just get bodied. It's like, why did I even bother with this hero in the first place? Yeah, no, it's a constant. It seems like it's always just a constant back and forth. Like, man, like, OK, like I got her. I'm excited. You know, I just pulled one for a viewer uh, just recently, too. And he was, like, he was really excited. And then he came back to me later. He's like, man, he's like, it was fun. Like, there's some good fun parts. But then at the same time, it's like I couldn't use her. Like, she wasn't repeatable enough. I'm like, yeah, that's even with that buff. Unfortunately, I think the kind of 
the, the Lydia hype, I think, is slowly starting to die, unfortunately. Now it's now it's that Lightning Zachary hype. I mean, because he's just effing nuts. The other problem with it, too, is I didn't I didn't really even like the Lydia change because sure, they gave her life steal, but they removed some of her dodge mm -hmm. for it. And it's like she's that's her entire point of her kit. So if you remove even one percent of her dodge, like you're nerfing every other part of her kit. It's about when she dodges, yeah. she gets the most damage. So I didn't think that one made a lot of sense to me personally. No, because you weren't really relying on her to do like you weren't relying on her ulti, right? Like you were relying yeah. on her counterattack. Yeah, you were relying exactly. on her dodge and the counterattack, right? Like that's Bingo. that's where her kit synergized. Like she was a defensive player, 100. percent She was like that proactive, reactive her character that you really wanted on your kit until they changed her kits just slightly. So, so I'm trying to think at the moment the strongest. If we had to put our finger on and say the single strongest independent hero at the moment in all of pvp i originally thought it was the dark ogre obviously now we're seeing you're talking about lightning zachary i i think the boring answer might still be it's hawkrin even after like all these <laughs> nerfs you know what i mean um you know as far as okay so are we are we gonna break this down to dps and defense or are we just going Overall, soup to nuts, best character for PvP. Tell you what, I'll make it even easier. I'm going to say absolutely the most annoying to play against. Like the one you're like, I'm sick of seeing this guy everywhere. It's it's a, a very annoying defensive character. It doesn't necessarily have to be the strongest or anything, because you know how these tier lists go. You know, it's always mm -hmm. someone's opinion. But let's just say the one you hate to play against the most. I'm, I'm not fighting Lightning Zachary. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I skip it. I skip it every time. Oh, hey, look at I, it. Literally, if I see if I see Lightwing Zachary, and even if I, I'm at, at the point now where if I see a Lightwing Zachary and a Methasia, if I <laughs> see those two on a defense, <laughs> nope, we're, we ain't doing that one because you know they're gonna have the revival. They got that revival revival spell because you know you're gonna take out Methasia, but Zach can't be killed right off the rip because of his crit damage mitigation. So, boom, you attack him, you kill the Methasia. Zach does his magic, revives Methasia. She gets immediately gets a turn. She revives the whole team, and then you're screwed. And then if you really want to be a bully, you just put your uh, Lightwing Zach in revival gear. So every bonus <laughs> turn, he just constantly heals just a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's just toxic, man. It's just, just to toxic. really be a problem, you know? Just to... Just no. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go build a Lightwing Zachary now, just to do a video and be like, Darth told me to do it. You might, well, it. you might as well try it, because uh, honestly, it's the only thing making arena even remotely, <laughs> even remotely interesting to do. I mean, look at this. Here we go. Attack a person, counter attack, brand hits and bonus turn. Attack, kill another person, brand bonus turn. It's like it's got three turns in a row just because he happens to have a brand on this team. That that seems to be a little. Right. You think they would cap it where it's like, at a maximum three bonus turns right. around or something yeah like there definitely needs to be a hard cap of like okay you've gotten five renditions of this you can't do it again this round or something you know um we've seen that mechanic already like i believe actually in this game i think they did limit it on like how many procs you can get like uh i want to say it was antonua and curse gear like they limited how many procs she could get or something like that like they've already done it and implemented it I am a little surprised they haven't done that yet for Lightwing Zachary. Maybe it's because it's there's only like, I mean, how many of these uh, light dark epics are there? There's only what, like four or something, right? There's the Lunar. Yeah, there's not many at all. Um, there's actually, uh, overall, I'm surprised there's not a whole lot of just dark, light dark characters to begin with. There's not, I mean, to be honest. I oh think yeah, there's, there's four total and three light, one dark. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's like, there's next to none. So maybe maybe that's why it's just because they're wanting to keep them nice and OP. Because I mean, when it when it boils down to it, your light dark champions are. Other than a baton, they're kind of your best ones. They're your best boys, and girls, unfortunately. So they kind of are. I, and I still find it hilarious that Hawkrin is is still I mean, this man's getting nerfed in the ground, but he's still there. So I I think for me, though, uh, I, if I had to answer the same question, which one that I don't want to see. Mm -hmm. Constantly as much. I don't mind like Wing Zacker as much just because it's a meme for me, but I still think it's the I still think it's the Dark Ogre. Every time I go against that guy, I just like physically yeah. cringe because it's, it's like, are you gonna RNG your way and stun everyone on my team before the game starts? Like what happens? And 
That's yeah, probably like, am I going to get a turn? Am I going to be able to set up my combo here? Or are we just going to get smacked and we're going to call this good? Right? Exactly. That's the reason for oh. me. And now I'm out of arena passes, so I have to go grind more arena passes. And that's perfect timing because, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the video. And you have to go watch John's video that we just did, which should be up on his channel at some point here. And so link in the description. I think you want to plug here since you're on the red carpet and all the cameras and the paparazzi. Well, thank you that. for... You brought out all the paparazzi for me, all the cameras, <laughs> all the lights. I'm, I'm almost blinded here, Darth. Um, I figured. So thank you for having me. Uh, but yeah, you guys can definitely go find me on twitch.tv backslash Jerry John, as well as on my YouTube. Uh, the YouTube's been growing with a lot of help and support from guys like Darth. So oh, definitely thank you very much for having me on the channel. I appreciate you. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. All right. Thanks so much for coming and bye bye, everybody. Peace.